microorganisms classification and habitat besides animals and plants there is a world of living creatures that are present everywhere but are so small that these cannot be seen by naked eye these are called microorganisms or microbes in order to see microorganisms we use a special device called microscope let's perform an activity let's perform another activity during rainy season moist bread get covered with grayish white patches if we observe these patches through microscope we will find tiny black rounded structures growing on thin long stalks from bread these microorganisms are called bread mold classification of microorganisms microorganisms are classified into four groups bacteria fungi protozoa and algae along with these groups there exist a group of organisms called viruses which are considered to be at a borderline of living and non-living things why is it so it is because viruses does not have cellular structures such as cytoplasm or cell organelles which is the feature of non-living thing however once these organism reach inside a cell they use host cells energy and nutrients to reproduce and multiply in thousands which makes us think that these are living common diseases such as cold influenza that is flu and most coughs are caused by viruses in addition to this there are many serious diseases caused by viruses these are polio chickenpox etc based on structure microorganisms could be unicellular consisting a single cell like in bacteria some algae and protozoa or multicellular consisting of many cells like algae and fungi habitat of microorganisms or where do microorganisms live microorganisms are everywhere around us in air water soil in our body and body of other animals and plants these organisms can survive in all type of environment such as ice cold climate hot springs deserts marshy lands even at the bottom of sea some microorganisms grow on other organisms for example plasmodium which lives in human blood and cause malaria some lives freely such as amoeba and others make their colonies such as fungi and bacteria dear students some of these organisms are harmful but most of organisms play an important role in our lives we will discuss all about in upcoming videos thanks for watching